You are watching TFI. Greetings and salutations, Memberinos! Welcome to another Autodesk event exclusive Memberino video. This is my gift to you as a member. Exclusive videos. And mate, the first ever invented video that I've done starting on cam is just for you. And do you know why? Do you know why this is the first ever invented video done on cam or started on cam? It's because, mate, this is a special one. It's the first time ever. I logic, mate. I logic. I logic. First ever I bit I logic on the channel. <sighs> and I didn't write it. But it's a start. It's a start. It's a start, mate. Right, let's hop on over to Inventor and then I'll show you what this is all about. This is a problem that came up in my office yesterday. And this, this is how the channel got started. Problems came up in the office. I fixed them and then it, it, it just ended up as a video. So you've got a drawing and you want to align two views together. You want to take these two views and you want to align them so that that edge of the view and that edge of the views are, are lined up together. Kind of like that. But instead of being by eye, it's exact. It's the inventor just can't do it. It's ridiculous. It's 2020. Why can't we object snap? Autodesk, why is this not possible in Inventor 2021? It's, but, hey, you've got to do, if you want a job done properly, you've got to do it yourself. So with an inventor, you've got the ability to go to the, the place views area, and then you've got alignment here. But all you can do is vertically align two views together like this. But they're, they're center line aligned. You can't align them by edges. It's 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 a joke. It's stupid for for all as the drafting flipping experts. It's ridiculous. Anyway, what you do, mate? Hop on over to the description of this video, and you'll see a Dropbox link, which will take you to this file here. It's a Notepad file with a bunch of text in. I can't paste all of this text into the description of the video because YouTube blocks characters like some brackets and uh, you know close brackets and all kind of all, any there's all kinds of characters in here that YouTube would block so I've had to link it in a in Dropbox the original code uh, the iLogic code was done by a guy called Bart Den Otter who I came across on the forums I have no idea who he is he just, his socials weren't linked in the, the forum post I don't know if he was just a random guy on the forum or if he's a reseller guy or a, you know some kind of expert in programming i don't know but credit to bart den otter for this code uh, i've put I, I wrote his name in here again for credit all you do control a and uh, to highlight all the text and then right click and copy or control c hop on over to inventor mate and then go to manage go to add rule and then where you've got the rule name type in i don't know some, give this rule a name something that you recognize like a line view or something and then okay and then paste the code straight into this white box at the bottom. Right click and paste and then save and then close. Once you've done that, go to the iLogic browser at the top. And then you should see your align view under the rules tab here. You can, if you're on 2021 or 20 to eight, uh, 2019 maybe and later, I can't remember. But you can drag this little window around and move it around if you want. It doesn't have to be docked, but you can dock it. Uh, if you want it just floating around, you can do that as well, mate. You can have it on a second monitor if you're on 2021. But anyway, there you are. Right-click on that, Align View, and then select Run Rule. Then, select the edge you want to align. So, you can zoom in, pick one of these edges, give that a click. And then pick the second edge on the second view, give that a click. And then look at that. It aligns the view. Why is that? not in the software by default. I don't know, mate. I don't write the code. I'm not a product. I'm not a product manager. I don't make these decisions. But that code there just did it. Objectively, that's required in drafting, aligning views by edges. And you can't do it other than doing it yourself. Once that's done, uh, it aligns the views. They're not fixed, unfortunately. It, it does just move them based on the edges, so it, it doesn't constrain the views or anything. So they will eventually uh, or possibly move out of place. So you might have to continuously you know, rerun the rule uh, and then put it back to where you want it to be. There is a chance as well that the rule might break. It, it'll, it only works on straight edges. So if you try and select something that's a that's not a straight edge, so say something like this, you can see that's, that's clearly a curved edge, you'll get a, an error. <laughs> and then it is just iLogic. It's not designed to capture and handle all kinds of errors. So you might get a bunch of 
<laughs> whatever this is. Don't know what this is. You might get a bunch of weird prompts, but hey, who's going to complain? It's a bit of free code. It's a bit of free code that saves you a lot of work. So there you go, mate. That's how you align views. Uh, that rule is now saved in the drawing. It'll be there forever. If you want to save that into your template, your IDW or your DWG template, you can do that. And then it'll be there for everyone forever. And then that's how you align views. Autodesk, put it in the software, man. Come on. Why can't we? I don't know why I'm shouting at all. Autodesk, don't subscribe as a member. So I don't know why I'm shouting at them. But hey, there you go. First ever iLogic video on the channel, how to align views, mate. Thanks very much. Thank you for being a member. You guys are gems, absolute gems, mate. You're keeping the channel going. You really are. You honestly, genuinely are. Uh, it's a lifeline for the channel. Hope you found it useful. See you in the next one.